What's up, YouTube? So I'm back with another video. Uh, this this video is gonna be about starting your trucking company. We're gonna jump right into it. I ain't even fit it. You know, this ain't even fit be no long edit or nothing. This this is how I started my trucking company, YouTube. So let's get this video started. Damn near everybody I talk to always asks me how did I start my company or what they need to do to start a trucking company. I'm not an owner operator. It's, there's a difference. Most people think owner operator is like you need your authority and all that. When you're an owner operator, you do not need to have your own authority. You can have your own authority like you're doing some JB Hunt power only. But like if you're just doing uh, if you just want to be an owner operator, you just buy a truck, go lease onto a company. They do all the all the necessary steps. Like get, you might still have to get your plates. I'm not exactly sure how that works because I'm not an owner operator. I am an independent carrier. When you become an independent carrier, you do need to file your own authority. So I mean, I'm just gonna give you a couple of little tips about how to start or where to start at. Because like when I was trying to get involved, most people wouldn't even give me no information about it they would just be like it, the time ain't right this ain't a good time to do it uh fuel too high what you gonna do with a truck break down uh how much money do you guys save do you you know what i'm saying are you willing to go broke like i had so many people tell me off the wall things to try to keep me from doing it but i'm gonna tell you man it ain't all that hard you know what i'm saying like you do have your points to where things get rough or you feel like man you know you want, might feel like giving up or you know what i'm saying you don't know how this gonna work out man but that's life you gonna go through that with anything that you do you you gonna battle with yourself to try to figure out is certain things right for you you know what i'm saying so like don't get discouraged or feel like it's something that you can't do because if there's a will, there's a way. I always, I always heard that coming up as a kid. He was telling me, I mean, there's a will, there's a way. So, and another question is, um, what I'm going to ask y'all is, why is self failure when success is free? You know what I'm saying? Like, certain people out here, they just, They'll tell you all these negative things so you'll fail. They don't want you to be successful at nothing. So they're going to tell you all these failures that they had to keep you from, keep your mind from elevating to tell you that you can might be, you might be the one that succeed out of this. But anyway, let's get into the video, man. All right, so starting the truck, starting the company. I wrote down, I got me a little, a little, I wrote it down because a guy asked me the other day, he was like, man, write down, write me down some steps of, uh, how I get started. So I told him, go file, like come up with a company name, go to the secretary of state uh, of your state, and you know what your name or your company to make sure nobody else has that name or I already use that name or something like that and that keep you from moving forward. So you gotta find a name that nobody else has. Like it can be your name, LLC. I prefer LLC. Because that's limited liability company. So if you ever have an accident or something go wrong or something like that, but we'll get on it. We'll get on that later on in the. Uh, all right. So now that you've got your uh, your company name started or whatever, you already went to the uh, Secretary of State. Uh, I think you do got to pay for. I think I paid for that. I can't remember. You got to think. Well, for one, I started my company back in 2014. It's 2022. So I don't know if all these steps. It's still gonna help you, so let's just keep rolling with it, y'all. You pick and choose what information you need and what you don't need. Or go your own way about your own steps. I'm just giving you like the steps that I took. 
All right, so I filed my name with the um, Secretary of State to make sure nobody else got my uh, the same name as I got. Uh, your yeah, EIN. Get your EIN. Don't put nothing in your personal, like your personal social security number. Your EIN is your trucking company social security number. Don't put nothing in your personal, uh, again. And the reason being, if you was up in an accident or something like that and they try to come and sue you and all that, you want them to come and sue your company, you don't want them to come and take your personal assets like your house and your cars and, you know, stuff that you don't work for. So, all right, third, go start your business bank account. That way you ain't missing your personal money with you with your uh, business company or with you, even with your startup money, like you you, you don't want to mix all that money because this is the money that you gonna use to start your company and build your company. So get your get your uh, a bank account. And another thing, it help you, like as far as you can start putting stuff in your company name, like uh, credit cards and stuff like that. So you can go ahead and build your company credit up. So whenever you get ready to go get your truck, you already got somewhat credit started with your company. All right, then you want to do a uh, go file for your MC or DOT number. You got a little money saved. You got money. You got you got your money in your account. You got your EIN. You already gonna file your company with the uh, Secretary of State. You did them three parts. All right, go file for your MC DOT number. It usually take about 30, 45 days. You know what I'm saying for you for it to come back or whatever. So. In this time right here, within the 30, 45 day mark, it might, some places I think it's 21 days. Uh, I live here in South Carolina, it took me about 30, 30 some odd days or something. Um, but in that little time frame, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and be looking for your truck. That way when your, uh, by the time your authority get back, you have been to find a truck or you are, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully you been to have the truck by then. That way you can, Go ahead and add your insurance, and then you, once you add your insurance, your authority will be activated. Um, from that point, you know what I'm saying, you a company. You know what I'm saying, your company, you, you, you got your own authority. You still can't get on the road yet because you still got to go to the DMV. But that's the starting point. Once you get to that point, you can go to the DMV, and that way you can get your, um, pay your IRP, which is your cab card, uh, cab registration uh, you're gonna need that and uh, and before you even get your IRP you do gotta pay your 2290 which is heavy highway road taxes you're gonna have to pay the heavy highway road taxes before anything they want their money I'm saying want his money y'all so <laughs> uh, 2290 heavy highway road taxes then Get your IRP, start your uh, file for your IFTA, which you'll be a new IFTA. So, I mean, it's all that. It, it, it don't cost that much to get your IFTA and stuff started and stuff. So, just go to the DMV there, walk through that little part. And then you have to get a drug and alcohol program. That way your name can be, you know, like, you need that to keep DOT off of it. Because, like, they, gonna, they might pull you over, you know, like, it's just a way, another way for them to make money to me, but to get your uh, drug and alcohol program. Like I said, guys, this is gonna be a short video. I ain't really had too much to talk about, and I hadn't put no no footage up, so I just decided I had to tell y'all how I started my trucking company, and hopefully this can help you know reach out to somebody that need help trying to start. But don't let people sit here and try to tell you, talk you out of it, man. You know, like, the sky's the limit. Damn. If there's a will, there's a way. And you here looking at trying to start a trucking business, so the will is them. Just make a way and do what you gotta do. Don't let nobody talk you out of it, don't let. But everybody, it's gonna seem like when you start and your money ain't all the way there, but you on your way to having some decent money, or say your money is there, people gonna hate on you. People gonna tell you like, oh, this ain't the right time. Man, don't listen to none of that negativity. Stay positive, keep going. Don't let nothing stop you. I don't, I let it stop me for it. In the beginning stages, you know, I had like 20, 30,000 dollars. 
And I, I, I was still nervous about it because I'm like, man, what do I do? Man? You know, so many people talk me out if I ask other truck drivers and they're like, no, nah, man, this ain't the right time. You know, if you're going to do it, you should have did it back in March. Like, everybody going to have negativity. Everybody is going to hit you with something negative. Don't listen to it. Your success story might not be their success story. Or your success story might be what they feel that. They don't want to, other people don't want to see you grow past them. Just know that. Keep that in the back of your mind. Nobody wants you to pass them. Me, I don't care. I get y'all. This free game. You know what I'm saying? You ain't stopping my money. You ain't hurting me. Yeah, I don't know why they don't think about that. It's enough for it out here for everybody. It's enough money out here for everybody to get. Again, I've been doing this since 2014. You know what I'm saying? So, in order for me to still stay out here, still be out here, it gotta be some money involved, right? Just saying. Don't, don't, don't let people talk to you out of things that. That's anything in life. You plant a tree, make sure that tree grow. <laughs> you plant it, make sure it grow. So plant that seed in your life. Whatever kind of business you wanna do, don't let nobody talk you out of it because what they fail at, you could succeed. You could be better off than a lot of people. So don't let people put negative influence in your life. If them negative people get them out your life, they start talking to you crazy, get them out your life. They know they don't mean you no know well. They don't mean you no know good. So get them out your life and, and start your business. Whatever kind of business you want. This is this 2022. Why well, work for somebody? Too many opportunities out here for you to have to sit up here and get up every morning and go to your job and somebody tell you what to do. Is you grown? I mean, straight up, you, you know, just go do it. Go do what you got to do. The more you try, the more you come up with, something got to stick. But until next time, guys, I ain't gonna talk y'all head out because we can go on and on with this all day. I'm gonna let y'all go, man. Y'all have a nice day, man. Till next time. And if you like this video, if you don't like the video, still give me a like. Throw your thumbs up. It ain't gonna hurt you. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you wanna see more content like this, man, give me a like. Throw your likes up. Uh, comment, subscribe. Get in the comment, man. Y'all let me know, like, if this the type of videos that y'all want to see, man, this is the type of content I'll put up. You want to see driving footage? You want to see backing footage? You want to see whatever? You want me to shoot the drone, man, or out? Whatever y'all want me to do, man. Let's get it. I'm here. I'm, I done told y'all this every video. The comments and tell me what y'all want to see. What y'all want to do. What y'all want to talk about. I can, I can talk, too. I just choose not to, like... Most of the time, if you go back and you look at my other videos, you're gonna be like, dang, he don't talk that much. But I, I choose not to go to talk too much and people be like, you know, man, he talking so much. You know what I mean? Cause I, I do that myself, like, I had to talk. Why like, he talking, eh? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, stay tuned, man. And till next time, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Help me get, help me get out here so I can help educate other people. Don't be stingy, you know what I'm saying? Throwing a like up ain't gonna hurt you. Subscribe to my channel, it's just gonna let you know when I drop another video. You don't know what I'ma talk about, bro, cause I be talking, I can talk to you now. So, yeah, till next time, y'all, and we out.